Beyonce's album. Uh, Dear Billy Def Jam, my girlfriend was listening to the new Beyonce album for a couple days straight. I let her listen because uh, we usually listen to my music, which is music she loves anyways. I didn't say, it's funny, I let her listen. You know what, it's okay, you can listen to that. Um, I didn't say anything for the first few days, but then I just started getting sick of hearing the same songs. She understood this and did not take offense because she's a great girl and I don't waste my time with shitty girlfriends who can't communicate. Dude, I got to admit right now, at this point, you sound like, you know, a girl's a great girl as long as she wants to do everything you want her to do. She's a great girl. I'd say I'm sick of the two days. I'm sick of your music. And she's been listening to your music for fucking ever. Uh, Maybe I'm reading into this. Anyways, later that night, we're at a bar with her friends or with her friend who is really who has a really annoying name that rhymes with (laughs) Smallene. She brings up the album the Beyonce album and how great it is. And my girl laughs and says, yeah, I burnt this guy out with it pointing to me. Her friend saw this as an opening to regurgitate every stupid soundbite she's read on a blog. Apparently I'm not comfortable with women being in a dominant position or if a guy did what she did, I wouldn't care. Uh, yeah, I know this, this, this happened when that Alanis Morissette album came out. And I remember enjoying some of the music and some woman in a bar was going like, do you even know what this song is about? Like, like I should like, like, uh, like I had some a relationship with Alanis and she was yelling at me. Like, I don't understand it. You know what I mean? The song's either fucking, you know, you either like the music or you don't. I don't give a fuck what she's singing about. Right. Um, at the end of the day. Yeah. If you could fuck be fucking be singing, row, row, row your boat. If it sounds good, I'm going to listen to it. Like, I'm not necessarily a fan of her shit, but that one that she did with Jack White, I like that song because the song sounds good. And I've heard it like 10 times because Nia's been playing it and I cannot tell you one fucking lyric in it. I don't, I don't even know what it's about. Um, but anyways, I finally had to interrupt her and explain that while I think she's, what she's singing about is annoying, you said it annoying, is annoying. My only complaint was that I was tired of hearing the same song Songs for three days straight. She wouldn't even listen, ignoring me and the words coming out of my calm mouth. Dismissing logic, I turned to my girlfriend and said, how can a girl as smart as you have such, such, one dismi- su- oh, such a one-dimensional dimi- friend? Yep, she tossed what was left of her drink on me. Wow, this chick is way out of line. It was a beer bottle. That was almost empty. I barely got any drops on me. She got mad when I laughed and turned and stomped off. Did I say too much? Did I say too little? Listen, I'm not saying you're not a dick. I think, uh, I think you said, I think what you said was perfect. You know what I mean? Like, to be honest with you, at some point, your girlfriend should have stepped in and been like, guys, guys, maybe she was. Guys, guys, settle down, settle down, settle down. Um, but whenever an album like this comes up, I mean, she she realizes that that album is just like a big fucking, isn't that like, you know, just like a big fucking, uh, what do they call it, trolling? Isn't she just acting like that happened? I mean, I don't think she let calluses grow on her feet and do all that shit that she said. <laughs> She always looks like she just came from the spa, and I don't give a fuck what that guy did. I don't think she's interrupting that. Um, maybe she made the help go down and, and go through that that biblical shit that she was talking about. But uh, but whatever, you know, they got to have that fucking, you know, not everything's for you. But I understand if someone's like playing an album three days straight, you'd go fucking nuts. Um, but I think, I, yeah, I think you went too far because... You insulted your girlfriend's girlfriend by, in a roundabout way, insulting your own girlfriend. Um, you know, but that you have to understand, like, women like that, like, in this day and age, like, this is like, um, they're so into that shit that you're not going to convince them one way or the other. That's like the type of person that acts like an asshole 
and just goes, you know, guys are intimidated by me. And at no point are they ever examining, examining like their own behavior. It's like, did I tell you what guys, when I was in Seattle, when that woman came up and fucking slammed her hands on the stage, cause like the stage was up to her chin and it scared the shit out of me because I couldn't see anything because the lights were on. I thought someone had jumped on stage. Um, and I felt like that jolt, like right before you're going to get into a fight. And I looked down and there was this woman, you know, screaming at me or whatever. And I just said, first of all, she was standing there forever and no, no security did anything. And I joked, I said to the guys in the crowd, be like, dude, how, how many times would we have been choked out at this point and dragged out of here and thrown into the, and thrown into fucking traffic? This is one of these. Uh, women privilege moments where you can just disrupt a fucking show and she's been standing there yelling at me for like 30 seconds and nobody moved to do anything. Um, and then finally I just said, ma'am, can you, can you please take your seat? And she goes, oh, I'll take my seat, but I don't need your permission. Is what she said. And it was just like, it's like, all right, I get it. You're a feminist, but like, you know, you're applying it like in this instance, I'm not the bad guy. You're, you're, you're the asshole. I know you have a vagina, so that makes you this terminal victim in your fucking world and that you can never be in the wrong. But believe it or not, at some point, you can be the fucking asshole. And um, what you did was you, you remained calm, which is the way to beat anybody in a fucking argument, is as they get heated, you just stay calm. And when she had nothing else... Uh, she threw your her drink at you and then and then fucking stormed off. So it was weird. You won that argument, but uh, you owe your girlfriend an apology because uh, you made shit weird between her and her girlfriend, and um, and you kind of insulted your own girlfriend in a way. Uh, having said that, I applaud you for saying that because that's fucking hilarious, and I actually wish I could have seen that. Because anytime those types of songs come out, there's always that 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 type of shit of like, uh, you know, oh, you're just saying that because this, you're just saying that because that, and you know, I, I don't know. It, it beca- you know what I don't like about that shit is then you just you just have this built-in fucking excuse. So it's like, oh, so you're never in the wrong. If I call you out and say, you know, X, Y, and Z, it's because of my own issues. It's never you. Um. Jesus Christ, that takes me back to Daisy Buchanan's in like 1990, whatever, when that Alanis Morissette fucking album came out. 